the only time I've been an evening guest at a wedding, I didn't know what to do with myself in the day. So I thought everyone will be quite drunk, so I started drinking. And I, I turned out I was the drunkest person at the wedding. Apart from James Acaster, who's on Leia. I, I, I'd come from a pub crawl. <laughs> Pub crawl to wedding. Yeah, yeah, pub crawl to wedding drinks. Um, James Acaster chipping in before 12 o'clock. <laughs> it's allowable. If I'm going to mention you and you're in the room, it's unfair not yeah. to. No more rules. James, James weird... Acaster's not allowed to chip in. I can't believe he turned up to the wedding naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's such a weird slide to go from pub crawl to wedding. Yeah. And it's like, it's like you could start, you'd be like, oh, in the morning I was in Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> then I went on a pub crawl, then I went to a wedding, and then a funeral. Then I had to go and do some vickering. <laughs> that was my normal job. Um, people have learned a lot from Beth Street. <laughs> I, th I think we could all say that, 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 that one's been firmly dealt with. Mm, that was fruitful. Maybe in, maybe in too much depth, if anything. Mm. Jake Bug, XFM, and it is the final hour of the show. So, uh, as always, well, let, let us see who's originally in the room. Let's start from the man who was here for the first hour. Morning. Producer Neil. Then we were joined by Joel Domit. Morning. And finally, to create a, you know, a four-piece band. Uh, your name? James Acaster from Kettering, Northamptonshire. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, James? Pretty good. How are you? Good, 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 good. What, a good week? Yeah, lovely week, thanks. Yeah. Any, uh... I went to a wedding. Did you? Yeah, quite, quite fitting with your, yeah. I went to, I went back home to a wedding. Fun? Yeah, loads of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, did was it the one you'd been to the stag do for the week before? No. So that's this Saturday. So oh, I've, I've had all sorts of yeah. So I did the stag do. Went go karting on that. Nearly cried. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and yeah. And then the, the, that's the a puncture for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. Horrible. Horrible experience. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this 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 weekend was a uh, just gone was was a wedding of another friend. Any, anyone you didn't like at that wedding? Uh, oh, there's... You wouldn't say. Uh, there, there's one woman oh, yeah, so, would. so tedious. <laughs> so just really to be honest, Josh, I don't know why I married her. Hey, <laughs> hey it was my wedding! It was my wedding! Um, no, 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 everyone was very nice. It wasn't. It wasn't my wedding. No, I'm very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Often people feel the most lonely after they've just got married. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that true? Yeah. That, that's a really great fact. I don't know, I've just made that up. Josh, it sounds like the kind of... Josh, five marriages would have come <laughs> God, I'm lonely. Um, <laughs> so, oh, that's nice. And you best man this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I'm best man, yeah. Give us your best joke. I see, this is the thing, I haven't really you got haven't any jokes. In, well, no, I've been working on the speech, but I haven't got many jokes in there. What? Uh, I know. But oh, well, have... Mate, I'm working on an Edinburgh show. <laughs> just, just all my jokes have gone into I can't, I can't use it for a preview I've got to kind of go up uh, I don't know I've got a very nice speech plan but, but I'll come join best know, man because I'm best man in all October for someone yeah. I think there's a lot of pressure on the comedian best man yeah. so. I, I've been best man before because I'm a very popular guy yeah uh, and I didn't <laughs> do any jokes that's a problem when you get married yeah, yeah, well, let, let's just cross that bridge when we come to it <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, I didn't put any jokes in the last one because I thought it was my, it was my brother's wedding. I thought yeah. I want to just like act like I'm trying to steal the, and I think he appreciated it. But I, lo I was looking around at everyone in the room, and they were very like no, that's slow is, hand clap. Yeah, they were like, "What? This better be built into the best punchline ever." <laughs> <laughs> Minute, just saying how much you love your brother, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, th I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people listening that um, are thinking, "Can't wait for this speech." Yeah, I'll probably. I, 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 incidentally, if anyone's looking for a best man. Uh, you know, I'm who's going to give I'll, the driest speech? In case who's going to give a really uh, earnest speech? I mean, at least you weren't the master of ceremonies. That is, you know, you're all bragging. I've never yeah. done it twice. <laughs> I've never done it. Actually, I didn't even uh, do it at my own brother's wedding. To be honest, actually, I, I haven't really worked on this speech. Uh, Joel, can I borrow that poem? <laughs> <laughs> Josh Widdicombe, XFM. James Acaster. Yeah. We've already talked about weddings, James. Yeah. You sounded like a door slowly creaking open. <laughs> yeah, Here's James Acaster. <laughs> <laughs> Never don't mind me. What was that? That'd be my catchphrase. I'd say, "Don't mind me" when I come into. <laughs> don't mind me. And then you leave again. <laughs> Didn't mind me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, um, James. Yeah. Jimbo. Yeah. Um, J Josh Aruna. <laughs> uh, Josh. We, we would talk about weddings. Yeah. Uh, also, holidays wasted. Now you've got. You're, you've got a tweet 
mm. that you wanted to read out of uh, Wasted Holiday. Leah Martin's one. And she says, everyone thinks I was wasted on holiday. I think she's, uh... She's used the word wasted wrong. Yeah, I think she's misunderstood. She's a w- w- wasted holiday. It's like, well, <laughs> I know the time I was... <laughs> Mistake of a being wasted on holiday. Uh, <laughs> a few sambukas, yeah. if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what this is about, right? Brits, we get wasted on holiday. We love it. Uh, everyone thinks I was wasted on holiday in Stockholm last year. I dislocated my elbow dancing to Def Leppard. I was sober. Um, I am. Um, which is the one I liked? Um, George Ann. George so, Ann. Presu- but at the bottom, presumably. Oh, yeah. Um, now, I d- she did one for each. With, uh, George Ann's a girl, presumably. Yeah. We're going with the Anne rather than the George as the leading. <laughs> it could yeah. be like a double act. George it, Anne. It, it, George. it could be someone from George. It could be a Georgian. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael Stipe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Athens, Georgia. That's where he's from. That is correct. Josh Whittaker. Yeah, a bit of trivia. New bit of trivia. Yeah. Neil, get on it. Oh, yeah, I like the, uh, by the way, Athens and Georgia, they're both places in America. Athens is in... It, yeah. There's people at home going, he's a kind of Greek guy. Georgian guy. <laughs> I was thinking that my geography is appalling. Yeah. <laughs> Athens, George, what an idiot. <laughs> um, George Ann. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when, when we were talking about George Ann. Uh, while I was uh, wasted holiday, being forced to work at my mum's store while she went off for a proper holiday in Ibiza. Oh, that's actually genuinely quite depressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what her mum's store was. It could have been a really amazing store, you don't know. Not in Georgia, mate. Not in Georgia. Probably He's still selling REM memorabilia. Since <laughs> uh, everybody hurts on a loop. I also like that George Anna's capped up the word Ibiza as mm. if to make it more of a party island. Yeah. Yeah. Or George just shouting it really angrily. In Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> um, and George Anna's uh, wedding story is there was a guy that kept sneezing in her food. Which I don't think is a thing. Yeah, it's kept sneezing. That's quite... Kept nervous. sneezing in my food. I mean, no one's actually... I mean, directly to... in the food? Yeah. I mean, that's a... Uh, was mean, it a that's... buffet scenario, do you think? Or yeah. Was it? I mean, you could go up... Anyway... Just we'll, grabbing we'll... her... Across the table from every time you did sneeze, grabbing her plate, <laughs> moving it <laughs> over to his face, sneezing in it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and then screaming, Oh, beef up! <laughs> <laughs> that's for running the store badly when your mum was away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, James... Mm. That's wedding's dealt with, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think I think we can all say that you're pretty pro- pretty prepped for your best man speech. Yeah, I can't wait to stop the sneezing on in the food, and uh, I'll be fine. Yeah, keep the sneezing down, mate. I'm trying to do a heartfelt speech. <laughs> This is a speech by Joel Domitz, Ned Grandass. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to it. So one of his lesser known works. <laughs> <laughs> and now James, the scrape master, a caster. So hit me with your scrape. So. As I always said, I went back to Kettering for the uh, for the wedding, uh, my friend's wedding, yeah. and I I had meant to buy uh, new shoes and a tie in the week, and yeah. I didn't have time uh, for for the tie. I got the shoes, got them sorted. How long does it take to buy a tie? Well, I, I had planned it. Basically, I was going to buy a tie, and my housemate said you can buy one of mine. It's uh-huh. fine. But then in the morning when I had to leave for the wedding, he was still in bed. And I didn't want to wake him up because he had a, a long night, he had a big day ahead of him. Did I he thought, have a girl in there? I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> I, 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 I thought, right, you know, thought, I don't know what that tie's been used for. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew I was getting into Kettering an hour and a half before the wedding. So I was like, it's Saturday morning, I can just buy one and then go to the wedding, it's fine. <laughs> so um, I bought one from Marks and Spencers. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> And I have never tied a tie before. What? What? I've never what? done it. Never Why not? Oh, 28 years old. What, what about school? Well, yeah. No. Did you have an no. elastic one? In school, we had polo shirts and jumpers. Wow. That's what you wear now. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've not changed. So if you had gone to a school where they'd worn, like, a tie and white shirt, is that what you'd be walking That'd around That'd probably be that? my image. I don't want to change after school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to That's get in trouble. Bump into one of my teachers and get, get, a, get a slip home to my parents when I'm in my, in my 30s. You've, you've tied a tie, haven't you, Joel? Yeah, I've tied them many a time. But then I learnt that task in school. Yeah. So, like... Is that the thing, that if you don't learn it in school, you'll like, never learn to do so it? It's like I'm a weak swimmer, and it's too late for me to take proper mm. lessons. Yeah. Well, like, well that's, that's I... sad. <laughs> 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 uh, All right. I yeah. can tie a tie, mate. Yeah, <laughs> well, good luck tying a tie underwater. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Which well, you have to do uh, to get uh, your bronze certificate. I'll easily be underwater because I can't swim very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Uh, tying the tie wouldn't really help. Uh, it made me realise that school is very important. <laughs> Very I also can't spell, read, or write. Uh, <laughs> I've told you this before, James. That, yeah. um, uh, that I missed the days at school where they started teaching me AM and PM, and I missed <laughs> I missed those days at school. So I had to teach to myself after school, but I taught it the really bad way to myself. And so I. How, how I, much teaching does it take? Well, I, 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 honestly, you know, you just remember a thing to make yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it easy for you. I remember it. I go AM stands for afternoon, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> And that's still, the, honestly, the remember I know. It just I'm takes crazy. ages to remember. The reason Joel missed that day is he turned up at 8 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but still with a tie on, mate. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah but that, that's, that's all they did at school <laughs> overnight. Just the janitor tied, <laughs> teaching people how to tie their ties. Um, anyway. So, you've never tied I've a tie? I've never tied a tie. Unbelievable. I bought this tie, now I've got to tie it. No one's at the wedding yet. It's still, still too I early. Why you were so uh, coy when I said, "Do you want to go for a Thai buffet?" So, I decided what I would do to uh, that. I would um, so I obviously went on my phone. Yeah. Googled Thai and a Thai. <laughs> Amazing. In, put, put that in the Google. You got like one of those YouTube videos. Well, I got, I got step by step pictures. Right? <laughs> Unbelievable. With the description, the descriptions underneath. Was yeah. there like little kids doing it in the videos, just like laughing at you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really taught it. You never had a job interview. Yeah, but I've never worn a tie for a job interview. I've always had job interviews in kitchens and stuff. <laughs> Been fine. Yeah. So I got, got it up on my phone. Now, I was then very conscious of where to go to tie the tie because I'm. <laughs> Currently now, <laughs> I'm out in the open. I don't want to be. So where were you, like Kettering High Street? I was now, yeah, Kettering High Street, out in the open. I didn't want to be looking at my phone yeah. the entire tie in the street in the suit. <laughs> so I thought I had to go somewhere private. So I thought what I'll do is I'll go. I saw TK Maxx when I'll go in the fitting rooms there. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> they, 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 Why got, have you done that? They, 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 they've got mirrors. They've got mirrors, and it's private. Right? Like, you think of many other private places. Did you, no, you, did right, you walk not in? Wrong. And they were like, how many items have you got? None. No. <laughs> well, well, no, Joel, I knew this. I knew that I couldn't get in without an item. So, I grabbed a shirt. I grabbed a shirt off the racks at TK Maxx. I didn't even look at it. Just grabbed it out on my way in. Went to the lady. Uh, she, so, she gave me like a token that said one on it. Yeah. Went in. Got the phone up. Put, put the shirt I just grabbed just straight up on the, on the, on the rack. Not putting that on. <laughs> um... So, so, I was going through the steps, and I tell you what, when you haven't ever tied a tie before, it is hard. <laughs> <laughs> really difficult. I was going through each, each step. I, I, there was one, one bit I could not get my head around. Quite <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the tie was around my head. But it was around my forehead, that was the problem. Uh, I was just in too, too late onto, into the wedding. Um, so... I've been in there for way too long at this point as well. I thought, I, I was thinking to myself, I should have got more shirts. So she would believe that I, I would take this long to get changed. I've been here for ages trying on one shirt. This is ridiculous. Eventually, I, I tied the tie properly. So oh, put, that's good. Put, put my coat on. Came out, and I gave her the shirt, and she said, any good? And I went, no. She went, what are you looking for? She, she called over one of her assistants. <laughs> and just went... Oh, it, she, she can show you. He's, he's looking for a blue shirt, and I ended up buying a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want. What did you take it to the wedding? <laughs> I put it. Well, I, I, had, I had a bag with me because I was there for the weekend anyway. So I just put it in my bag. <sighs> well, that is amazing. Did and anyone you, else used to uh, go to to sleep in their school uniform? No, no, no. only during double maths, eh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but then the rest of us didn't go to school overnight, John. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I used to. I used to wake up. Because I had to get up so early, I used to get into my, <laughs> work my uniform and then I'd shower before bed and then get into my uniform and then sleep in my uniform and then just get straight out of bed and go to school. Why, mate? Hmm. I'm not sure if that is the best way of doing it. Well, I think that's ties dealt with. Back, um, as always, Mr. James Acaster. Hello, Josh. You all right? Well, yeah, I was all right. Until what? Until oh, well, I turned up this morning, and it turns out <laughs> you've got someone else in telling their scrapes. Now, <laughs> what? What? Does the word loyalty mean anything to you, you snivelling little worm? I 
I mean, coming on this show, <laughs> opening my heart up to the nation, <laughs> exposing myself to embarrassment week after week, <laughs> sharing my scrape. But they call me the scrape master, Josh. That isn't a, that isn't a title one just like plucks out of thin air. You have to earn that. Someone once tweeted at me saying that the sign to Ketron should say Home of the Scrape Master <laughs> underneath it, right? Does, does Tom Crane live in Ketron? No. <laughs> he comes from Bath. I, I just think if you've got a good scrape, you know, if yeah. a man's got a good scrape, you should have Bring it in, mate. Yeah, well, get your own show, Crane. <laughs> go, and, and, go and be someone else's. Turn up on the last hour of someone else's show. And have your own little... Be, be the be, oh, classic japes with Tom Crane. <laughs> Tell it about the time he clearly deliberately bought a windbreak just so he could get on the radio and try and steal someone's thunder. <laughs> Still bread out of my own mouth. Not, not a good out time. of my own mouth. Not a good time to bring up uh, Crane's other scrapes at Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. Well, I heard you. That was just the beginning, James. <laughs> yeah. So you come in with your your one scrape if you're lucky, <laughs> mate. I, I've got like a smorgasbord. I've got a buffet of scrapes, mate. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of us don't this, organise a weekend away with Josh and then just deliberately scrape it up around it, <laughs> <the train. laughs> just scrape to try and up. get on the radio. <laughs> right, Crane. Let's go to your other two scrapes. <laughs> okay. I'll just re fill in one of the scrapes was that um. My friend Holly, who's got his, James's flatmate at the moment. Yep. Oh, well, you're, you're living in a house. Just living in a house, man. Her and John uh, met me at the Rolling Stones. They said, oh, we've just seen uh, Tom Crane. Uh, he was... <laughs> He was being strangled by his own lanyard. I did. It got it's, it got caught by the wind, and I couldn't <laughs> breathe. It twisted round, and a pair of Dutch tourists had gone off to try and find scissors for me. <laughs> <laughs> but in that interim, Holly, Holly Walsh, a comedian, came up, and, uh, yeah, they had to free me. I generally couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. It was trapping my Adam's ample. Like and what was weird is as they were cutting reeks me, of desperation. As they were cutting me free, James, they were saying this is far funnier than anything James has ever offered. <laughs> I said that's not important. Let me breathe. But they said no. I must make this point. So Scrape wise, this is amazing. <laughs> right, tell us your final scrape, Craig. My final scrape was after the Rolling Stones at one in the morning. I decided I needed some food, so I bought a uh, hamburger and chips for 10 quid because it's all going very well career wise, it's not a problem. <laughs> uh, and I was walking back down uh, to my campsite and about 30 seconds I realised away from my tent or oh, windbreak I realised I didn't have any knife and fork <laughs> so I stopped at a baked potato van and asked if I could have a knife and fork and he said have you bought anything and I went no he goes well you're going to have to do something for me you're going to have to do 10 press ups <laughs> <laughs> to learn the knife and fork at which point I said the bleakest sentence ever which was Please don't make me do this. <laughs> <laughs> I then did ten press ups while people stood around and chanted <laughs> and clapped. I only made eight. I couldn't finish the press ups. Oh, and he kept going, oh, keep going, keep going. I ended up grabbing a knife and fork and going, no, I think that's quite enough of that. And then running into my, uh, <laughs> into my that's, quite that's quite enough, enough of that. But yeah, people gathered around and chanted as I tried to do enough press ups to get a wooden knife and fork. Well, that is bleak. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, I think you've, I think we've. And what we've done there is Crane has got rid of all his scrapes. We're yeah. going to move on. I bet he's got more. I bet he's got more <sighs> up his sleeve. <laughs> uh, Try yeah. and ambush me later on. <laughs> I'm writing them now. Most of them aren't true. It. <laughs> I've had loads of scrapes happen to me this week, mate. Loads. Bastille, Laura Palmer. Uh, Laura Palmer's the song. I mean, that... Uh, Laura Palmer sounds more like the artist and Bastille should be the song. But um, I'm <laughs> right, aren't I? Yes, you are. It was uh, after the lead female in Twin Peaks. Oh. Uh, well, well. Uh. We Trivia. Everyone. Trivia. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> He's done it. I bet you're recording this. Gonna go play, it, play it to someone else later on. I did it. I told him it. There you go. I mean this, Neil. That's possibly the most boring fact I've ever heard. But that's, I, that's really takes some doing. That's right. Well done. Right. So, uh, still here. Producer Neil. Morning. Tom Crane. Hello. And James A. Caster. Yeah. Now, James, you're worried Crane is taking your scrapes. I'm not worried, mate. Uh, we've got a text uh, from Dom in Watford. Um, <laughs> the starts, if you're taking other scrapes. Oh, oh hello. Welcome to the party, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, also, oh, we've just got another one. We'll come back to Dom, but, um, it is a point, it is a point that I've just received. Um, so, Tom comes from Bath, but needs a knife and fork to eat a burger and chips. WTF. Yeah, I know, but I don't like, basically, if at a festival... <laughs> So if you've seen the toilets yeah. and all sort of stuff, it's, it's filthy. So uh, I, just, I, I, I get weird about that sort of eating food with my hands at festivals. That's so, like rock and rock and w, WTF stands for why the fork? <laughs> <laughs> why so the I don't, fork? And the answer is why the fork? Is, uh, you don't need that. 
so I don't get dysentery. That's, <laughs> the, answer, that's the answer. All right, Dom in Watford. I mean, this is one of my favourite. Um, that that again was from Helen, who said uh, touche, touche. She's having a great yeah, morning. Wow, it's pretty much her show, isn't it? Now, <laughs> absolute <laughs> screamer, Helen. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, if you're taking, I mean, this is. You know when a, a text leaves more questions than it answers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're taking other scrapes, I have one involving wearing a dead man's t-shirt and getting moisturiser rubbed into my chest by a 60-year-old woman. Right. That's it. That's where it ends. <laughs> well, we've all got one of those, Dom. <laughs> so, but, so, Dom, if you think you're special with that... That's thing that happens story. on a stag do in Amsterdam, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Dom, if you want to text is... in with more details of that, although... <laughs> Wearing a dead man's t-shirt and having moisturised, what was it? Rubbed into my chest by a six-year-old woman. Yeah, it's not the other way round. We should have wearing a six-year-old t-shirt. <laughs> I get moisturised into my chest by a dead man. We well, should have bets on what the story is. I think yeah, he okay. was uh, pretending to be her uh, husband. <laughs> who, who, was, who, who was passed away and he dressed up in, in, in his clothes just to get some sweet, sweet action from the, <laughs> the lady. <laughs> I'm sold on that. I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah we're going to go with that. I'm, I'm very excited to hear what it is. Oh, Oh, Dom's tweeted in again. Hello, Dom. It's not as sort as it sounds reading that back. Okay. Mate, I don't see how you're going to clear this up. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, we're going to need more tweets on that. I mean, this is live radio at its best. Just, <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what are you doing? Just filling until Dom tweets us again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, no, no doubt at some point Helen will come in with a singer, so it'll be okay. <laughs> Josh Widdicombe. XFM. This is Josh Widdicombe and producer Neil. Have we got... Any news on Dom? Dom, have you put your have you put your bed music back on, Neil? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Neil's bed music. This is his new music for us to talk over. What do you think of it? That's lovely. Very nice. <laughs> it's on the shopping it. channel. <laughs> 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 Stop trying to fill. We're, we're still waiting for Dom. And he, he's yeah. not, Dom has let the story go cold. He's not delivered. Oh. Oh. I was enjoying that music. Dom is like, like the texter in a, a quick a minute. lost. No, no, it's, uh, he hasn't texted in. So that is it. But <laughs> Wait a Dom, minute. you've missed your chance. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Imagine if the rest of the show was just you refreshing Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Come, Come on, on, Dom. It's an oh, it's an advert. No, no, no. I, I wonder what's Dom happened is playing to Dom me like in the a cheek meantime. violin, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, I bet, was, I bet he was about to. Uh, he, he literally like got a knock on the door and answered it. And it's like one of his friends needs his help. He's like, I can't. I've got to send a text. Like, <laughs> Dom, come on. Stu <laughs> Stuart's trapped underneath a car. Just come and. <laughs> Get the t-shirt. For God's sake, Matt. <laughs> what we need, Dom, is a t-shirt and some moisturiser <laughs> to set him free. Yeah. I actually, I actually think that Dom has stuck together three random words and now can't back it up with a story. <laughs> he thought, crying. how maverick and weird can I go? This will get me on air. <laughs> oh no, this has gone through. <laughs> this is going to be yeah, in his living room. Oh, Dom, when will you learn? I'm, I'm done it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, Dom. You've uh, sadly. Uh, I'm gonna press refresh one more time. It's there. Is it? Oh, is it actually hey! there? Dom, <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> oh, this is great radio. Dom, oh, call you. hello, the Sonys. <laughs> oh, right. Take a breath, now, everyone. Yeah. Everyone, take a breath because I haven't read this, so I might have to cut it off at any point. If okay. It gets. It's a, right. To cut a long story short. Don't do that, Dom. <laughs> you did that the first time, Dom. Look where that got us. <laughs> well, it's Twitter, isn't it? I was working in an old people's home laundry and got covered in detergent that burns and bleaches the skin. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> <laughs> I was corralled into one of the residents' showers by the aforementioned woman and found myself in the odd position of getting naked in front of <clears throat> some old woman's room. In some old woman's room. Once I got... This music really suits this story, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> like a weird after dinner speaker. <laughs> Once I got out, my work top was soaked and I handed a, I was handed a t-shirt. Upon asking where it came from, it's got a bit jazzy now. Yeah. I got the reply, let's just say he doesn't need it anymore. I went back to the laundry. To <laughs> <laughs> I went back to the laundry to finish work and complained that I had minor burns on my chest. Before I could move, this predator of a woman had a hand on my top and was rubbing moisturiser into my chest. <laughs> <laughs> One of the strangest days at work ever. The music it, makes it sound like, you know, I imagine when Frank Sinatra would tell stories between songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, this and there, they moisturise my, my chest to stop the burning. <laughs> when the moon hits your eyes like... <laughs> <laughs> we now come to your, uh, your moment in the sun, James. The, the, the week of, your, your classic scrape. Classic scrapes. A lot of pressure on this one this week. Yeah, there already is. had yeah, scrapes yeah. from Crane. Cra Dom. Dom, Stuck yeah. his oar in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Earlier, uh, uh, few few small ones actually uh, uh, to, to begin with. Just to, just to let you know that uh, uh, I'll have you know, right? In case you're doubting that I'm the real scrape master. <laughs> uh, this week, 
I dropped some milk on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking up a hill back from the post office. Where, I was like, I'm visiting my parents. They said, go and get us some milk. I said, all right. I went down, bought some milk on the way back home. I dropped it, smashed everywhere. So, you know, don't go thinking I'm not the scrape master. <laughs> Also, I was trying to... Uh, me and my friends wanted to find out um, what would hap- what happen if you uh, texted yourself on your phone. Yeah. So, uh... How I much tra- time have you got on your hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, quite, quite a long time. So I tried to... I actually don't know if I can say this word. Uh, can, I, can I say this? Uh, Neil, can I say that? Top one there. Uh, 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 there. Say that. Second one. The, the second one down on the... Yeah. Uh, Is that allowed? We're all in it. Here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> Not really. Not allowed. Come on, uh, James. Ca- huh? Come look. <laughs> it was a rude word. It's a, a, a rude oh, little yeah. thing. It's a rude little. A rude, yeah. It's so an thought, action yeah. more yeah. than a word. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I'll text that. The second text word. Text a rude the, phrase. The second word is fun, and the first word rhymes with fun. And I thought I would text that to myself. Yeah. And uh, you can't just choose your own number out of the list because it's not there. So I had to type my own number in, yeah. uh, texting myself. And uh, it wasn't, I wasn't getting the text through. And I looked again and realised I'd typed one of the numbers wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and just uh, Amazing. Just te- texted that to a stranger. Did right, he reply? Uh, no, I didn't, get, I didn't get a reply. If I put a question mark at the end, maybe I would have put a reply. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, well, well, well. But, uh, You've got your own number wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, was, I just t- t- I clearly, like, quite, you know, clumsy with the old... Yeah, the old input. fingers. Anyway. The old digits. Main, the main scrape this week. Yeah. I have to go in the archives. And yeah, Chris Crane, big gun. Now, Crane's telling the story about wind breaking it. Uh, I take it that was a, a rough night's sleep, Crane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... I thought I'd do a similar story. Okay, let's like, see. Uh, I think that, that's what we've got to do. Now, cast your mind back uh, to the, uh, the, the, the the winter of 2008. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm an open mic comedian, right? I'm a, a, earning my Yeah, chance. I know, but what were you doing then? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, Dealt walked with. into that one. <laughs> the <laughs> old skills kick back in. As if Helen is in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got myself a gig in Basingstoke. Murph Control. Thank you very much, Jeff White. Right. <laughs> I am I've, I've the open spot on the bill. Uh, the, now, there was someone supposed to be driving me back to London. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the opening act on the bill. Supposed to be driving me back to London. I get there. Uh, he does his set. I do my set. And then he goes, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to go back to London anymore. I said, what? <laughs> Why didn't he want to go back to London? Well, this is what I said. This is, this is, believe it or not, Josh, that was my immediate question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, why, why, why now? Why are you telling me this? He oh. said, got, I've got a girl that I'm kind of seeing. She lives near here. I'm going to go around her house. I was like, right. Okay. So I'm like, come? <laughs> yeah. Has yeah. <laughs> she got a spare sofa bed? <laughs> Mate, I'm an open mic. I can't afford a hotel. This is awful. <laughs> Ran to the train station. Uh, missed the train. All the trains had stopped. Went back to the venue. Uh, tried to convince him he wasn't having any of it went to the bar staff said can I stay at the pub they said no but there was a train leaving from Basingstoke oh, this, this gig was in Andover by the way yeah. I said, there's, there's a train leaving from Basingstoke uh, at midnight you can get that one if the, if the guy drives you as far as that so he drives me over there also all the way there in the car he's uh, moaning at me that he had a bad gig and I had a good one yeah. now okay. I, I don't bug about this it this story but, doesn't seem believable now yeah <laughs> He, he kept saying to me, I don't know what was wrong with that crowd. I mean, they weren't laughing at, at my sex stuff, but you told a joke about bubbles, and they were laughing at that. <laughs> the guy from Big Brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ma- <laughs> Michael Jackson's monkey, mate. Uh, Michael Jackson monkey jokes. So they're, they're, they're not done enough now, are they? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, he drops me off. He, he speeds off. Okay. He doesn't come back. By the way, I've also been in Andover uh, since one o'clock, because I had to get the cheap trains back then. <laughs> Right, I've been kicking around all day. During the day, uh, I, I was working on a short film at the time. So I, I had to do shopping for some wardrobe, and I went to a shop, uh, bought, bought a red dress to, to, to fill, fill the day in. Yeah. And yeah. then... Uh, what, what was the film? Schindler's List? Yeah. With Christopher Bergen. Well, it, it, went, it went really well. Uh, it ended up being like a massive film, won loads of Oscars, yeah. but uh, I didn't get any credit. Um, I also sat on a bench to pass the time by the t- town hall, and a massive, massive strong guy came and sat down and took up so much of the bench that his elbows acted like a... You know, like on a roller coaster where the, the thing comes down and <laughs> It's like that, I couldn't move. 
Who and, thinks uh, they're going to kill time by sitting on a bench? <laughs> That's not an option. You go to a cinema, you read a book. I know what oh, I'm going to do. I'm going to sit afford. on a bench. I spent all my money on a dress, mate. I couldn't afford... <laughs> You're not Forrest Gump. I had no money. I, I, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have started up a box of chocolates chat with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have wanted to hear any of my stories about Bubba and <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Okay, so you're sat on that bench, then what happens? Oh, he, 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 he sat down, he, he, he kept me... Oh, I was trapped for ages. At one point, someone came on and started chatting to him. He was being really rude to everyone as well. He was shouting people over. And uh, the, the lady chatting to him got a phone call and went, yeah, I oh, know, I'm just talking to, talking to Dan and one of his loser mates. Which is, <laughs> which is me. I wasn't even... Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Basingstoke train station. The guy drops me off, he speeds off. I run to the train station. They're locking it up. There's no midnight train. I was lied to. Yeah. There's, it, no, there's no, la no last train out of town. There's no last train out of Basingstoke. Forget it. I say, right, uh, can, can I at least, like, sleep at the station now? No. Look, look at my mobile phone. It's dead. I, oh, I look at my wallet. No money. Oh. I'm now in a bind. <laughs> Right, right, I've got to do something. I, I'm walking around trying to think. Of, I'll notice in front of the train station <laughs> quite a large and warm looking uh, bush. <laughs> warm looking bush? <laughs> it looked like it was insulated quite well. Like there was a, a nice little nook. I thought, right, it's six hours to the next train. I know that much. They told me that. I sort of crawl in there, fall asleep. But six hours goes pretty quickly when you're asleep. Oh, right, I'll do that. In a bush. In a bush. Why did you go back to the bench? Mate, the bench was no, all the way back in Andover. Ah, oh, okay, right, okay, yeah. Dan's probably still sitting on there. I don't want to be <laughs> messing with him again. Crawl into the bush. By the way, it's been a really hot day. I'm, uh, uh, so I've got, like, a T-shirt and jeans on. I'm freezing. Sitting in the bush, and uh, I can't sleep, obviously. obviously. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's a Friday night in Basingstoke. <laughs> like, there's people, there's just drunk, I can hear drunk people from miles. Are you not tempted to, like, go out till 3am, like, find a club or something? Uh, Josh, how well do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go, excellent opportunity for me to do a bit of Bays and Stoke raving. <laughs> He's going to sit in a bush. <laughs> sit in a bush for a bit, mate. It's more so you sat in the bush? One of the Raymeers of the comedy world. <laughs> sat in the bush. I was freezing. So eventually, to warm myself, I put the only item of clothing on that I had. <laughs> oh! <laughs> not ashamed of it, not ashamed of it. I put the dress on, right? <laughs> Red dress, put it on. Really big shoulder pads on the dress, which I hadn't realised when I bought it. I realised that... Oh, also, double gutted, I realised this is not going to go very well for the film. It's not the style That's that amazing. we want. <laughs> yeah. I'm there in the red dress. I've also... I've also got on me uh, um, a Dave Eggers book, and I, I, I'm reading that, and I'm eating some brioche that I bought earlier that day. <laughs> the most decadent tramp in all the bays and stoke, sitting there eating, eating the, uh, a brioche, <laughs> reading Dave dress. Eggers and wearing a red dress. Did it have long, long sleeves? It had long sleeves. Uh, it came down to ju just above uh, my ankles, uh, <laughs> which would be very risky back in the Victorian times. I think we all know that. Quite a racy dress. Like a salsa dance having a breakdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really kind of like... And obviously checking my watch to see how close I was to the next train. The scariest point of the night, I sat there and uh, two really drunk men were walking along the road and they stopped right in front of uh, my, my bush. Well, it was my bush by that yeah, point. Yeah, my yeah, and one of them started going, do you know what we haven't done for a while? Oh, no. He went, no. He went, I don't know people had this kind of conversation, by the way. He went, we haven't beat someone up in ages. <laughs> Literally, that... That's straightforward. I'm sitting there going, if you look down now, it's going to be like Christmas. <laughs> if you look down now and go, there's a guy in a dress sitting in a bush eating brioche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a weird come. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> That's like Christmas, but yeah. <laughs> That's what Christmas is like for me. Is, is it, it yeah. not for you? <laughs> guy, in a, guy in a dress eating brioche comes in. That's old, old, old set dick, right? <laughs> That's what everyone else was talking. Uh, so I had to hide. So what I, what I did was I, I got the the plastic bag that the dress came in mm. and put it over my head, <laughs> so that I would look like I just a plastic bag in a bush next to an old discarded dress. Oh uh, and I, I stayed very very quiet until they eventually went away. And then, uh, had you died that. from hypothermia during the night and you'd been found like that, <laughs> what sort of backstory would they? Be? What they'd assume <laughs> awful <laughs> things <laughs> have happened to you, like some kind of like. Uh, it's almost like when a poli like a politician is found on so <laughs> a bag over my head, yeah. wearing a dress, brioche in my hand. Yeah. Exactly. Just to sum up, did you just stay up all night and then get the first train home? Yeah. Um, I would like to point out when I got on the train, I took the dress off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did not not wear bag. that all the way back, all the way back to London. <laughs> had the bag. Yeah. That is amazing. Well um, done. You win, I think. There, there's a scrape, and um, that is goes to Indy Forty Four, who I noticed tweeted. 
family, friends and neighbours all gathered round the wireless in anticipation, dot, 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 waiting for the true master of scrapes, James A. Caster. <laughs> And joined now by James Acaster. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. The, the way you said that is if I'd have joined Vampire Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? If, yeah. I, if asked? Just for a laugh, yeah. For, for like, <laughs> just for a weekend, like Reading and Leeds. Just for a Vampire <laughs> Weekend. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll I'm also like, joined by Pappies, <laughs> to make that clear. Hello. 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 There's been a lot of hellos, um, but, you know, let's move on. We hate goodbyes, <laughs> 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 um, How are you, James? Pretty good, yeah, pretty good. Thank yeah. you. You weren't here last week? I wasn't, sorry about that. What, were you maybe, you know, on Absolute Radio? Sitting in a paddling pool, loving it. What, on Absolute Radio? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. they're, they're really struggling now for ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Miss Me and Nick Hancock in a paddling pool. <laughs> <laughs> Ch chatting about <laughs> cricket. <laughs> well, I'd listen to that. Um, <laughs> what, what are you doing in a paddling pool? Just uh, visiting my, my sister and her, ne and <laughs> her nephew, my nephew. <laughs> Her nephew would be like mice. Well, I mean, and did you bring your own paddling pool? Yeah. Or was... brought it along. I, said, I haven't got a tap at my house, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to visit other people. <laughs> other it's just full of rainwater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, what, what are you wearing in the paddling pool? Well, I don't know this why. This is I'm a just bit trying... intimate all of a sudden. Well, it needn't be. It depends what you're wearing. <laughs> you, you know, you, you know, you know I wear a mankini or whatever. Uh, no, uh, I, I just rolled my jeans up, right? What? What? What's wrong with that? Did you, you let your nephew into the paddling pool? He was allowed in, yeah, yeah. No. He, he was there splashing about. He had loads of those uh, plastic balls that you get in ball pools. He was splashing them around. He was having a whale of a time. Big decorum, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are trying to paddle in our jeans. <laughs> Were you literally paddling in the paddling pool? You didn't I wasn't actually them. paddling. I was having my feet. I was using it more like a foot spa. But <laughs> He, with all, all the chucking around of all the plastic balls, it create a bit of flow and bubbles. <laughs> and, oh, was a, a foot bar powered by a child? Yes. <laughs> what kind of a monster are you? Well, you, you, you should see my hair dry. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> <It's like that. laughs> just, uh, it's just a string of kids, uh, <laughs> one after the other, blowing on my hair in a queue. <laughs> <laughs> they just move around. They've all got uh, tickets like look at a deli. <laughs> and uh, the kind of number gets called, it's their turn. I think we should move on. What? Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we'll do, we'll, we'll, you know what, James, I was going to talk to you about the subject, so I feel, I feel we've come to a natural impasse in the conversation. The one that dies, uh, you and me on XFM. Who was it who described it as a beast there? It is a beast. That's a beast of a song. It's it great, is. isn't it? Is that, is that, is that your favourite song, Matthew? <laughs> It was actually the theme of the Please Don't Hate Matthew Crosby gang. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually me and me, I used to sing. <laughs> me and me always and forever. Um, no, James, we had two topics today. Mm. Um, either either tickle your fancy. <laughs> I haven't used that phrase ever before. <laughs> no, never. Um, Shall I take you through them? Sports yeah. Day humiliation, surely. I once uh, carried, <laughs> carried on running. <laughs> Gump yeah, yeah. I didn't look up during the race. I looked down at my feet because oh, I was so scared. Because you were wearing such good shoes. Yeah, I was wearing my, my running shoes. And I was just like, keep your eye on that. And so I was running real, really, really fast. And then uh, I looked up uh, at the moment that I ran through a, a goal. You know, like uh, <laughs> on, the, on the playing field. Did uh, you get Mario Kart? Kart? Luckily, the net wasn't up. <laughs> was, uh, but like, uh, yeah, I ran for it and turned back, and everyone else for dots in the distance. And oh. I didn't even win. That's the really thing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even make it on the podium. Well, that's going to take some beating. Uh, childhood gangs? Were you in any? Uh, yeah, two. Two at different times, different schools. Well, oh, that's great. Um, well, I got kicked out gangs. the first one because the first gang got so larry I had to go to a different school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, first just, gang for, just for a point of reference, if anyone can see James Acaster, that's clearly a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the first first gang was uh, a crime solving gang. Perfect. Any and, cases cracked? Uh, yeah, one. Oh, uh, when uh, Rian, Rihanna. Which is not the Rihanna. No, no. <laughs> uh, you stole her umbrella. Had her umbrella stolen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she had a chocolate bar stolen from her oh, yeah. lunchbox, and so we, uh, we we were questioning all the kids in my class as to whether they'd seen did you have, eat did a blue band. Do you have the kind of all, the rights to do that? We didn't. Right, it was our did jurisdiction. Did you we, have a warrant? We, 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 yeah, I was like, you can't search my bag. You haven't got a warrant <laughs> go, to go back to the teacher. No, we're just going around, doing it on the down low. Seeing all the kids in the corner going, look, we're not going to... If you yeah. tell us who did it, 
We're not going to give any names, no one will know. And then eventually someone said they'd seen uh, Anthony eating a blue band <laughs> in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the canteen. And I mean, he, I, and I he like normally, that reference so much, I just walked into a stall. <laughs> <laughs> but he never had packed lunch, Anthony. And we're like, well, where, where'd you get a blue band then? So I went up to him. Uh, <laughs> I, we also found the rapper under a picnic table in there. Oh. Yeah, and we were like, evidence. And, uh, <laughs> that's that's and, not evidence, because that doesn't link it to Anthony. Yeah, unless we, he's a... we were six. <laughs> so at the time it was evidence. And then uh, yeah, on, on the way home, uh, he, he confessed on the way home. I, I, you should have uh, teamed up with Matthew because he's got an access all of areas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys would have been unbeatable. That's amazing. What was your second gang? Uh, the Rubber Gang, which is not what it sounds like. <laughs> 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 Don't you worry? Don't you worry is the worst thing to say. Don't before. you worry is not something you should ever say. I'm a girl. Trying to, I'm James. Don't you worry? <laughs> President of the rubber gang. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> um, so what happened in the rubber gang? Collected erasers. And <laughs> and drew faces on them. That was that was one of the things. We, had, we, we drew little draw little cartoon faces. So they're like little they're like little their personalities of their own and we kept them in a punch repair kit box. It's me, me, and, me and my friend Joe Devlin. Yeah, yeah. And were so the, we'd keep them Were the rubbers oh. members of the gang? Was it like you yeah, and Joe yeah, yeah. and the Me, Joe rubbers. Devlin and all the rubbers would join the gang. <laughs> <laughs> and so was, were you an honorary rubber? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was uh, a yeah, head rubber. <laughs> King of the rubbers. <laughs> Joe, Joe Devlin, very much, I mean, he might, he might mind me saying this, vice president rubber. <laughs> but, uh, well, well, thank you very much. Genuinely. About what I expected from James Aker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just make clear who's in the room. Um, Pappies, I'll go through you by name. Ben. Hello. Matthew. Hello. Tom. Present and correct. And producer Neil. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in the room. He's down the road. <laughs> Running back from a Starbucks. I mean, we've never recorded. <laughs> signing autographs. <laughs> Chopper. <laughs> We've never recorded in a smaller room, but you've never sounded further away. Um, and James Acaster, so, I mean, take it away, really. Oh, yeah, classic, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, this don't, one. Don't, oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, normally, normally you give him a little bit oh, of background. Oh, do you want a little background? Just a bit of background like, oh, is, um, you know, what, how would you describe it, Neil, from a distance? James's life is one big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Come to this. <laughs> um, now, James. James. Uh, each week, will uh, relay a scrape. Is it? Is it a current scrape? Is it a week? This is one. A archive. This is. I was sixteen. Archive scrape. Oh, so dipping into the archives. Uh, <laughs> this is my most. This is um, the most rebellious I've ever tried to be in my whole life. So me and my fr my friend Matthew was about four years older than me, and had a car. It's me, him, another friend called James. Who's called James Bug. It's called Buggy. Yep. And my friend Sean. And when Matthew got the car, instead of like driving around being like proper rebels and stuff, we would uh, we would get a, an, an atlas and open, <laughs> open it on a page and choose a, a village in Northamptonshire we'd never heard of. Behaving. Were you in the National Trust? Is that your childhood gang? We might as well have been. But we decided, we, this is lame, uh, we decided we'd uh, steal a road sign. The anger of privileged youth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not like a fold out bolted on we're gonna steal it proper and we're just gonna really mess people's lives up so uh <laughs> went out in, in, in the dead of the night in the car and uh we chose uh eventually we chose um you know those signs that let people know that it's a footpath and a cycle path <laughs> 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 it's got a little picture of a man and a bike yeah, yeah in a yeah. blue yeah, yeah so yeah. We, 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 we took them from a footpath that um had a had one of them every hundred yards or yeah. so. So, if we stole one of them, there's mild confusion for like the middle bit. If someone gets caught, if the pedestrian is at that exact point and a cyclist overtook them, they go ah, and then a hundred yards later, we're like, that was okay. That was okay. <laughs> let, let, let that go. Oh, and, and we filmed it. Oh, first yeah. mistake. Now we filmed. What on? This would have been quite a while ago. Yeah, we have a massive camera. <laughs> we had, we had, we had, yeah, a camcorder that we used to take. We, we used to go around filming. Uh, at that point, it just had footage of lovely villages. <laughs> Who are you, John Craven? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just, uh, us in lovely villages walking around going, look at that thatch. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's the village Hello. Bobby. <laughs> Something like that, waving at him. Yeah. Uh, and then we're, so we're filming the... We're, we're a night vision setting. Uh, yeah. So we, we had that on, so everything was green and whatever. And I was, I was the one filming, that was my job. All right. Matthew, getaway driver. Sean and Buggy were stealing the sign. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, and Were you nervous? Yeah, really. The camera's shaking. <laughs> for the whole thing. Just wobbly cam for the whole thing. It was really, it was really tense. I worked, there was one point in the filming where uh, Buggy thought a uh, passing car was a police car until so he ran and fell into a ditch. And, <laughs> and uh, we we genuinely were go, had a discussion afterwards and let's send it into You've Been Framed and then decided we can't because we'll probably instantly get arrested <laughs> for our criminal behaviour. Uh, 250 quid tape. wouldn't be very good when you're inside. Yeah, would it? You won't make bail out of that, not all four of us. <laughs> <laughs> 250 quid. I won't get you many snouts, will it? <laughs> <laughs> um, on, on, the, on the footage is um, James running into the car and all of us can't express how happy all of us were and then we put on the song you know, Movies by Alien Ant Farm <laughs> we put that on really loud and then we're all singing to it in the car like, is really this still on video? It. yeah this is still on video and like really loving it that we, we're listening we're listening to movies and holding this uh, cyclist and pedestrian sign up to the camera <laughs> and pointing at it and we're like yeah and I just um, pop her like really getting into yeah. it we thought it was brilliant and then yeah. a year later uh, Matthew had a get together around his house. Uh, by this point, he had a, qu- a job that involved uh, working with ladies, uh, and uh, ladies came around who worked at his, his workplace. Yeah, we've heard about them. Yeah, well, we, we, we <laughs> hadn't at that point. I was, I, 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 I was 17, and this was like a big deal. And actually, doing quite well chatting to the ladies until Sean got too drunk and said to one of the girls, I'll tell you what would be you'd really like, pretty impressive. And he got the camcorder. <laughs> Linked it up to the TV without we didn't, we didn't know none of us knew this. Yeah, and then we turned round to to seeing all all the, the all the sexy ladies watching a video of the four of us in the car going, we did it, we did it, we got it, and then, and then just, saying, just like the movies, <laughs> <laughs> they're really excited and high fiving each other in the car, and the four of us are standing there like, yeah. We're, Oh, we won't be kissing any of you. Well, that's <laughs> clearly not going to happen. I think, I think that just about sums up another classic scrape, James. <laughs> but I think we can all agree Neil was right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are joined still by Holly Walsh. Watcher. Watcher and oh. James A. Custer. Oh, I'm trying to think how to better watch you, but I don't think I can. <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. How's your week been, James? Pretty good, mate. Pretty good. Yeah. How's yours been? Very good. I never ask. I just realised I never ask you. <laughs> I, I, I always just take all the. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good. Of course, everyone wants to know about Acaster. Yeah, no, I never. No one cares about me, mate. I never say how's I'm, going. I'm here. I'm here to facilitate people hearing from you. Uh, <laughs> what What have you been? Well, today's uh, today's tweet in uh, was based on your week because we were tweeting about um, whether anyone's ever pretended not uh, but to be someone else or mm. and uh, you've you've this week come a cropper haven't you I've been the victim of fraud uh, of uh, well, 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 identity theft I guess um, I, I, I none, none, this starts off with a base I was on Russell Howard's good news once big deal <laughs> 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 big deal people get over it <laughs> uh, there's, there's move on here. nothing to see here there's a lot of people trying to get on that programme <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I, I was most on of it. them have been on it yeah <laughs> pretty much in the entire <laughs> Every new comedian has been on it. But anyway, neither of us have been on it. <laughs> well, you, 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 you guys on, have both been on. We're, we're Russell Howard's old news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unl- unlucky guys. Maybe in the future they'll make Russell Howard's good news for fogies, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, Russell Howard's no news is good news. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, I uh, I was on it and. <laughs> If you've ever seen it, uh, you'll know that yeah, when, yeah. When, when the comedian I've goes that. on... I've, I've watched it, mate. I've you've watched it with tears in your eyes, welling up, <laughs> <laughs> thinking one day. Uh, anyway, when, when you go on doing stand-up, they have your name uh, like about a million times in the background on this video screen. Um, and uh, there's been a lot of comedians on it over the years. Ramesh Ranganathan. Uh, Oh, not Naz Osmanilo. Um, I'm the only be. one whose people whose name got spelt wrong uh, <laughs> in the background a million times. Uh, so it says James Acaster with an E-R at the end. It was Acastor with an O. Uh, and uh, my agent said the best. When, when I phoned him up and said, oh, this has happened. It's on telly. It's really embarrassing. And he did the most agent you think he's ever said, which is, he went to me, if you look really close, it's an E. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not. It's is not. You're not in Ibiza. You're not trying to sell drugs in Ibiza. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so like there's, there's an Ian James. It doesn't look like it says Jam or Say Is anyway. Yeah. Um, every time. <laughs> look really close. It's an E. <laughs> look really close. It's an E. Every time it gets repeated on Dave a lot. Yeah. And every time it gets repeated on Dave, uh, my my mum <laughs> puts into Twitter search uh, James Acaster and 
James A. Castor because she knows that some people are going to be tweeting about him. And my feedback from my mum is that all the all the negative stuff is aimed towards A. Castor because <laughs> they haven't bothered to follow up and to find yeah. what, what my actual name is. So great, this week, uh, this <laughs> this week it got repeated again, and I finally got a tweet from James A. Castor just uh, using my photo uh, say <laughs> saying to me. Um, what, so someone set up a James someone A. Someone has set up a James A. Castor tweet, Twitter, uh, which also they've used a photo of me uh, when I did, I did, I did like a photo shoot, like when I first started, where <laughs> the person wanted us to like, they, they had like a, a fancy dress box and they were like, <laughs> everyone just, you know, reach in there, put on whatever you want. And, and, I, and I put on these stupid glasses and so they've used, they found that photo. <laughs> I used a so photo of me. magazine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with me with some round glasses on and then tweeted straight at me going, I'm going to sue you, buddy, get off the net. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we know that that's not the real them? That's not the real you? That well, James A. Castor's not the real yeah. me. Um, well, I know it's not the real me. What else have they been tweeting? Um, well, they basically keep tweeting like they're, they're a similar v- person to me, but it's like a bit skewed. Like, for example, they uh, I think they tweeted at you, uh, tune into Henry Whittacombe's show on Jackie FM <laughs> <laughs> to listen to my vintage escapades. <laughs> Uh, so I've got bo- bad news. Um, you're unbooked, James Acaster. <laughs> We're going to get James Acaster next week. <laughs> but what they've so also if you've got is- a pair of round glasses, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> They've also started um, arguments with anyone tweeting <laughs> negative stuff about Acaster. <laughs> so anyone who's tweeted that, he's, he's started an argument with someone for, from in, he's tweeted in December saying they hate me. Uh, <laughs> tweeted at them saying, uh, I'm only doing my best. I'm just trying to make people laugh. Do you think you can do any better? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Which is ironic, because um, they probably could do better. Oh, they could, yeah, much better. <laughs> There's always that delay if somebody's rude to you. You have to come back instantly with a brilliant comeback, because waiting six months <laughs> just sounds like you've, you've got so many drafts of a reply, and that's yeah. what you decided on. Yeah, if you'd been iMessaging them, those three dots that show you were typing wouldn't go for six months. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, delete that. Yeah, no, no, that's not good enough. Well, I'm glad you've had a, you've had a bad week, James, because it's really helped the show out. Thanks, mate. Now, we come to the point, uh, James, uh, Mm. of your classic scrapes. Yes. Um, Now, we were discussing what music to put under this, weren't we, Dave? Yeah, it's Um, tricky. Shall we give James some options and you can choose what you feel would be appropriate for your classic scrapes? With pleasure, with pleasure. Okay, let's try this one. (laughs) Oh. Wow. (laughs) Oh, it's it's kind of like the people who did the Grange Hill music did a sexy... <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel that sums up your life? Yeah, sexy Grange Hill is how I always, <laughs> always view myself. Yeah. Um, I think that's a bit, it's a bit too stylish for them. Yeah, a bit too okay, stylish. Okay. Um, we've got others. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is classic scrapes on holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sort of with a long. So I was in Hawaii. I'd yeah. forgotten my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> but to hear like a one of those like uh, whistles. Like, <laughs> at any point, so. I think that's the best. Have you got any other? I've got one more, one which more. I think will work quite well. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, this yeah. is it. <laughs> this Welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the scrape this week, James? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk over this. <laughs> Well, <laughs> um, I'm going to do... Let's do classic scrapes on holiday. I don't know that James can okay. concentrate. Well, this one is on holiday. Oh. This, this, this was in <laughs> France, so we should go on holiday. Okay, so what okay. happened then? Uh, I went to Paris. Yeah, Paris. With, with, yeah, Paris to the, to the layman. <laughs> yeah. Friday non, non-linguists out there, that's Paris. <laughs> yeah. I love uh, France. Uh, Paris is... Uh, huh? What? Capital of France. Oh, well, <laughs> That's the only time you want to insert Don't blow his mind, not now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. too early on for these I contacts. went where? This, this explains why I got into the scrape. I thought I was in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around. <laughs> speaking Belgianese to people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like an idiot. Um, I, went, I went with a, with a friend. Yeah. And she speaks French and I don't. Well, you've, you've, you've already proven you do, mate. Flu- fluent in Belgianese, mate. <laughs> but like, but uh, Paris is all I know in, in, in French. Yeah. Uh, Paris and we. Oui, I know. Yeah. So, Tom uh, Paris. Yes. Tom, um, Tom Paris. So there's someone we both know that's the most niche joke we've ever. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, so we were in Paris, and I, I had to I had to do that thing where I just stuck with her all the time. So that what are you doing? 
What's going on with your mic? my microphone around because it wasn't facing me. Your microphone wasn't facing you. It is now. <laughs> but, but why wasn't it facing you? What was happening? Because I've moved slightly away from you and towards Holly because I just feel like she's a more positive person. <laughs> I can't m- move on. I need to get to the- tell me about the story. So- sorry, sorry, Holly. <laughs> so, uh- so you were sticking with your friend because yeah. you spoke French and you only say Parry. Yeah, my friend Josie. Right. right she was there. Uh, or um, jo- Joses. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jose. Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and jo- Jose was in Paris yeah. and, and I was walking around and basically every time we had to like, order food or whatever I'd be with her but at one point she wanted to go into like a, a 99, p- 99 franc shop you know? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. by the way James unless this is a vintage scrape they use euros <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a really expensive shop <laughs> yeah, 99 it's like franc. 50 quid shop <laughs> it's coming up I'll have a stereo please <laughs> How much are these toothpicks? 99 francs. <laughs> Everything's 99 francs. Is this scrape going to be that you turned up with outdated currency? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got completely bankrupt uh, by the time we left France. So um, went into a 99, she went into a 99 cent shop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or 99 euros or whatever. Uh, so she, she, she was in there. And I, and I waited outside. Um, and... I outside the scraper brewing. Yeah, so here we go. The scrape started bubbling up. I started hearing, hearing the music of Steptoe and some thinking, oh dear, what's that? What's that I could hear? Um, and also outside the uh, 99 euro franc shop was um, a massive dog. Like a really... Uh, it was about the size of it. It was like a, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the dog. Um, <laughs> Outside. That is a verb. Yeah. Outside. Oh, <laughs> that, that's a very different. Yeah. That, that that hadn't reached France at that point. <laughs> um, and it, it's massive. It was like a man in a in a in a fluffy <laughs> fluffy dog suit. It's like a what? You, you know, it like, wasn't an actual dog. Yeah, it was, but it looked oh, like it's so oh. big. It looked like a person in a dog outfit. It was it was ridiculous. <laughs> It was, it was tight. It stood up on its hind legs. <laughs> it was so it's it's like, uh, <laughs> a, a bucket raising money for the line. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, these French dogs, they sure are smart. Uh, bonjour, your dog. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it was really fluffy. It's like, like, like the dog on the, uh, you know, the, the Dulux dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not like that dog, but like my height sitting down so it was <laughs> uh, can I point out really quickly here that just before the match we, we went live with this very anecdote you did warn us that it'd be a short <laughs> a short scrape this morning <laughs> sorry, sorry so the dog's there <laughs> Me and, the, me and the dog, the dog, dog's not short at all, very t- massive dog, so yeah, I, I lied there. So it's the, the dog, and people kept on stopping and looking at the dog because of how big it was. And then they would turn to me and they would say a comment about the dog, because it, it looked like it was my dog, so I was standing next to it. What so, was it tied up? It was tied it was tied to like a post or something, uh, yeah. your post, a, a la post. Yeah. And uh, people would stop and like, you know, comment on the dog. But at, you had no idea. I had no idea what they were saying because Josie was in, in the uh, in the shop so I would always just go we oui, and just agree with what they said and then they would go away and laugh and that, and that was it and uh, one guy came along and he said quite a long thing about the dog to me very passionately and I went I just nodded and laughed and went oh we 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 and then a lady heard what he said to me and heard me and she stopped and looked at us both horrified <laughs> And she started just absolutely laying into both of us. <laughs> and just, like, lecturing us about how we shouldn't say it. But I, I don't know what she was yeah, saying, because no it was all in, all, all in French. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting in trouble here. And I was like, I don't know what this man said to me. <laughs> and every time she was having a go at us, he was looking at me like, this woman's such a square, she doesn't understand us. She doesn't understand what we think about this dog and how it's, it might be taboo, but we don't care. But wh- whatever it was... It might be to be. Yeah. Well, was, at this point, it could have been anything. forbidden love. Yeah, it could have been saying anything. Me, you and this dog should go and, like, <laughs> I don't know. But like, it could have been horrendous. <laughs> or me and you should kill this dog and eat it. It'll feed, like, my, my family. And uh, But, like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. would you, would you yeah, be willing wait. to sell me your dog for human consumption? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. 99 francs, please. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, by the, by the time they went away, Josie came out and didn't uh, didn't believe me at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, so to this day, you've got no idea what he said. To this dog. day, I don't that, know. That but. is classic Acastor. That, <laughs> classic Acastor. James Acastor can take a break because that that's unbelievable. So, what happened to the dog? 
I don't know. I didn't stick around to see if the owner <laughs> probably, probably took, took its dog head off. And the, the guy walked home and went another another prank we played on an English service. <laughs> Learn the language, mate. Well, that's an unbelievable scrape. How do you get yourself in these situations? <laughs> you buffoon. <laughs> what a wally. <laughs> The main topic that seems to have taken over the show is um, pretending to be someone else. When you pretend to be someone else or when someone's pretended to be you. We've got some tweets on this um, team. Hmm. I mean, do, I don't know if you qualify as a posse. I th- no, how, how, how many is a posse? Crew. How many is a posse? I don't know. I think That's you're a, a clique. A clique? <laughs> okay. Well, we've got some text clique. Um, what we've got is a <laughs> Jamie Jones. Um, Who's Jones Jamie? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I keep giving out people's Twitter names. It really is. If people, it, wanna, if people love this uh, tweet that much, they can follow. <laughs> you think this sounds up your street? Give him a follow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty more where that came from. <laughs> so, Jamie Jones, um, I pretended to be the Welsh techno DJ, Jamie Jones, <laughs> and the Leighton or- Orient goalkeeper of the same name. Yeah, both both very well known uh, characters. So. <laughs> what, what that gets you into? Well, it'll definitely get you a, a freebie box. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, well, uh, I don't. I mean, which would you prefer to be? Which Jamie Jones? I mean, obviously the guy that tweets in is about to see his follower count go through the roof. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather be the DJ. Or there's loads of people going. I thought this was the guy who was the <laughs> yeah. Welsh DJ. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel my subscription. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So his Twitter account. It's got to be yeah, Jamie Jones' follower account has got moved to the floor. He's going to lose three. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to remember who he's pretending to be, Eddie, but he can't be like, you know, standard, he's got to wear the right standing in gold trying to do a mix. <laughs> <laughs> um, Smike, um, do, you want, do, you want, do you want Smike's uh, Twitter handle? Do I ever? At Bearded Saffer. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Um, oh no, actually Smike's not the one I wanted to, to read out, so <laughs> unlucky Smike. Oh, Smike at home there, going, yes, I told you, I told you they'd read mine out, you said it was too boring, and you were wrong. Here we go, Smike's in the, oh, oh no. Oh, at Tearful Saffa. Uh, <laughs> Deleting his Twitter account as we speak, oh, what is the point? <laughs> Why did I ever bother? <laughs> So anyway, George Ann, that was the one I wanted to read out. Oh, I, I pretended, this is George Ann, not me. I pretended to be my own twin sister once. Open brackets, only child, close brackets. Oh, wow. That's quite... That's creepy. Uh, Presumably yeah. not to her parents. Mm. Maybe it's someone... That, 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 how did she pretend to be my own? Was she, like, talking to someone and then she'd leave the room and then come up with a bow in her hair <laughs> and be like, have you seen my sister? <laughs> That's, a, that's how I imagine you would pretend to be your own, <laughs> your own twin sister. That is Come back I'm in dressed as sort of a kind of Grace and Perry. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm James, J- I'm Jane Acastle. <laughs> uh, where's my b- handsome brother James? I know I shouldn't say that, but uh, it's such a dish. <laughs> A dish. Yeah, that's how I describe no myself. that phrase, have they, since... <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I, I don't... Since w- men one of us gets it shouted at us on a regular basis, mate. <laughs> well, I, got, I, got, I get shouted at me all the time. Everyone uses that phrase. No, I think it's a dish. You've got the, wrong, the last two letters, you've got them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're a massive dish, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I okay, guess okay, you stop saying, yeah, thanks for those builders. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Much appreciated. You gave me a spring in my step this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Those clothes make you look like a dish. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty good too, man. I love your hard hats. <laughs> <laughs> love your hard hat. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first, guys. I'm respecting it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you on the way home, yeah? <laughs> Call me a dish again. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. I think my twin sister's going to swing by later and <laughs> give you some sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches that she's made herself. <laughs> Thought you might be hungry on the building side. Maybe some sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is a dish. <laughs> what would you be wearing? I'd be wearing it like a gingham dress and uh, <laughs> <laughs> little bow, bow in my hair. <laughs> Where are these builders? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, really, I guess uh, on my way to the tube. So I so see him every day. At least twice. <laughs> There goes that dish again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There comes that <laughs> massive dish. <laughs> well, I think, that's, I think that's brought an end to it. Yeah. I hope Smike is one of the builders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 